Hello, my name is Jongguan Kim. I'm a PhD student at Purdue University. Today, I'm going to talk about my work on a new Lagrangian method for computing equilibrium of generalized Nash games. So, first, let me briefly tell about the generalized Nash game, which is referred to as generalized Nash equilibrium problem, GNAP for short. Generalized Nash equilibrium problem describes a broad class of non-cooperative and simultaneous move games where each player's feasible strategy set depends on the other player's strategy. The GNAP was formally introduced in the seminar papers by Debro and Arrow and Debro in the early 1950s. They termed GNAP an abstract economy. In the paper, they state the following. Since then, studies on the GNF have been mainly concerned with the economics for a long time. But over the last two decades, there has been a growing interest in the GNF as a modeling framework and a solution concept in the numerous applications in operations research, computer science, and engineering. Some instances include the following. Here is the outline. I first set up the GNM model and describe theoretical computation challenges. Then I introduce a new Raglangian with a quadratic approximation to overcome these challenges. After that, I present an algorithm and a sketch, convergence proofs. Finally, I will provide numerical results on examples to show how well the method works well on the GNAPs. Okay. There are n players in the GNAP, and each player i has strategy xi. X is, is a collection of all players' strategy. Here, x minus i is other players' strategies except the player i's strategy. And each player has objective function and private strategy set xi and a set of coupling constraints. So in GNAP, given x minus i, each player i try to solve the optimization problem. Here, objective function and the constraint functions are continuous differentiable and the convex in xi for fixed x minus i. Uh, feasible strategy set is given by fi of x minus i. In this setting, a point is called the generalized Nash equilibrium if the point satisfies the inequality as well as the feasibility. The above formulation is a very general setting, so it is called the general genet. Because first, the coupling constraints are not necessarily shared by all players, and each player's objective and the feasible strategy set is possibly non convex in other players' decisions. So, my objective is to develop and analyze a new primal dual algorithm to compute an equilibrium of the general genome, provide equilibrium exists. Let's see an example of real problem, power allocation in telecommunication. This model represents a realistic communication system subject to quality of service constraint. There are L links transmitting to K different base station by using K different channels. Link I transmits with the power XI and this model. We see that the quality of service constraints are non convex in other links decisions. And each link has different coupling constraints. Therefore, this problem can be viewed as a case of general genetic. I'd like to mention why equilibrium computation of general GNAP still 
challenging. First, main region is a nature of Gina. Strategy interactions among players through some coupling constraints. This may lead to failure of Mangasarian form of each constraint qualification, MFCQ for short, which is equivalent to unboundedness set of multipliers. In turn, algorithm may generate an unbounded iterate of sequence. This can be illustrated by a simple example. In this example, 1 and 0 is the unique equilibrium and the feasible point. At this point, the gradients of constraints are linearly dependent. So the algorithm may generate unbounded sequence of variables. Second reason is potential non-convexity of each player's problem in the strategy of other players. This makes the problem difficult to solve and to design a distributed algorithm. Okay, let's look at the literature. Many algorithms based on the variation of inequality or the kind of isoda function were developed. However, they are established for jointly convex genus in which coupling constraints are shared by all players. That is the GI equals GN. And it is convex with respect to the entire strategy and the one for the applying coupling country. Furthermore, they rely on strong monotonicity assumption on the gradient mapping of objective or Lagrangian function. Often such property does not hold in general genome. So those approaches cannot be applied to general genomes. For general genomes, a few algorithms were proposed. Interior point method, exact penalty methods, and augmented Lagrangian method. However, all such methods use uh, Magasari and Fromovich constraint qualification assumption. Furthermore, Interior point method relies on the strong assumption that um, feasible strategy sets are bounded. And the penalty method assumes, assumes XK converges to a point. The penalty method has critical disadvantages that the resulting sub problems are the non differentiable. And so it is very sensitive to penalty parameter. Finally, augmented Lagrangian method to remedy the drawbacks of the penalty, penalty method. But it assumes also EMFCQ or use the assumption that the primal sequence XK converges to feasible point. This is not the reasonable. And uh, the performance is also highly sensitive to penalty parameter. We can not implement it in a distributed way because it has to solve the largest of problem at each iteration k. So in the work, I seek to answer to two questions. First, can we design an algorithm to compute an equilibrium of general GNFs without the boundedness assumptions on the generative sequences and the feasible strategy set? Second, can we design a distributed algorithm to compute an equilibrium of GNF? Indeed, I provide the answer to both questions by introducing a new form of the Lagrangian function and utilizing a quadratic approximation. I also made two standard assumptions, uniform Lipschitz -like gradient continuity and the coercivity of the objective function. Okay. By introducing perturbation variable Z, we transform the original genome into an equivalent extended formulation. Then we can define the proximal perturbed Lagrangian function as. I want to 
highlight two observations on favorable features of P. Lagrangian. First, it is strongly concave in lambda and mu due to the negative proximal regularization dual term. As we will see later, this negative quadratic term plays an important role in that it does not allow for the next eye trace lambda k plus one uh, to deviate far from mu k when updating lambda using exact maximization scheme. Second, it is characterized by the absence of penalty term for handling the coupling constraint gx minus g less than equal to zero. The coupling constraint is just relaxed into objective with corresponding multipliers. So we don't need the intensive computational effort in updating penalty parameter. Next, to deal with the non-convexity, I employ a simple quadratic approximation, L hat in only x. This is a linearized P Lagrangian at the point xk combined with the quadratic proximal terms that measure the local errors in the linear approximation. Then we can construct a strong and monotone approximate mapping by replacing gradients of P Lagrangians by those of the simple approximate functions. Then we can easily solve the fixed sub problems using gradient projection step in a distributed way. In this work, I reformulate the GNAB as a set of point computation problem using the P Lagrangian and then present um, algorithm for computing the set of point. To this end, I establish the equivalence of Gini and a set of point of Lagrangian by proving the two theorems. I discuss in detail in the paper with the reduced form of the Lagrangian. Okay, now let's talk about the algorithm. First, fixed xk, zk, lambda k, mu k, we update ukl using inner gradient projection step until the algorithm detects a point ukl plus one, satisfying the fixed point condition one as well as descent condition two for all players. Then uk l plus one is set to k plus one, xk plus one. Notice that the gradient of l hat i with respect to, to xi allows for the inner iteration to be implemented in a distributed way because each player i can update its own new i k l while keeping s k fixed. Next step is to update z using exact minimization step on P Lagrangian. Then once minimization steps are done, multipliers are updated by exact maximization steps on the P Lagrangian. Okay. Then we can have two main convergence results. First one is a subsequence convergence, which means the sequence generated by algorithm converges to a limit point that satisfies the set point condition. Here, note that the n bounding list assumptions are not required to prove this. The proof is not too difficult. So we need some intermediate results. The technical details are in the paper. Let a point be a set point of P Lagrangian. Then by step one of algorithm one and the Lipschitz gradient assumption, we have the inequality one. We can also have that the difference two consecutive dual iterates can be bounded by that of prior iterate. Then combining inequalities one and two, we can get the sufficient to decrease property of P Lagrangian three. Also, we know that the function value at certain point provides a lower bound. Then using 
to decrease property and lower boundedness of Lagrangian, with here the course with the assumption on the objective function, we can show a key property that the primary sequence at state is bounded. Okay, establish the above result, we can derive the key properties of boundedness of the generated sequence and asymptotic regularity. With these results, the sequence Subsequence convergence is proved. The second main result is global convergence. Under an additional assumption that all objective and constraint functions satisfy the KL property, together with uh, the sufficient decrease property of and bounded the sequence, I obtain the whole sequence generated by algorithm converges to a set point of P Lagrangian, which I also didn't discuss here, but I discussed in detail in the paper. <clears throat> All right. I conducted the numerical experiments on the test problems in the Gina literature. The results showed the effectiveness of algorithm one, and they are present in the paper. Okay, finally, in this talk, I wanted to share two computational results with graphical illustration. Let's get back to a power allocation problem. As shown in figure, all P Lagrangian values are monotonically decreasing and convergent as we expected. Also, we see that the iterates of all converges to a limit point satisfying the minimum target rates within significantly short CPU time. But I plotted the iterates of links one, three, five here. Next, let's look at the error dual equilibrium example briefly. In this example, there are eight players, two companies, five com customers, and one features market player who sets price for clearing market. First, one cross a uh, first one corresponds to company optimization problem. Second corresponds to customer's problem. And the, the last one is market player's problem. The numerical results of this example also verify our theoretical findings. So all Lagrangians are decreasing and converging to binary value. We also see that the generated sequence converges to Wallachian equilibrium. Okay, here is a summary of the work. The proposed method improves existing approaches in both theoretical and computational perspective. It does not require n boundedness assumptions, and it is the first distributed algorithm to solve the general genus. Possible future research is to extend this approach to stochastic equilibrium problem with coupling constraint or constrain the min max optimization problem. Finally, there are great open questions to me raised by reviews or for this paper, but which I'm not sure at this moment. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>